Anybody that tells you that yard drains are a one size fits all, they are their own fool. Every system we do is a custom. Homeowners are left feeling as if they're just stuck on an island dealing with their own water problems because of these gimmicks and all these different things that they try and it leaves them frustrated. Well, you're not stuck on an island. Boffman Tile, they heard your needs. And what they did is made the world's first drain tile just for us. I can't tell you how many times I've heard a homeowner say, I don't need a yard drain system. I don't need a roof runoff system because their basement is not flooding because at the time their basement does not have any lakes. So this is a moderate rain. This isn't even a torrential rain. Take a look at the water. So you don't have a leak in your basement and you just let this water pour right at the foundation of your house, taxing the foundation of your house. Our homes, that's our largest investment for most people and we need to protect our largest investment. Be proactive before it becomes something that's twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of damage. An underground drainage system and getting this water away from the house and not 10 feet but I'd like to get it 20 30 feet away from the house depending on what the lot lends itself to but just look at this a moderate rain nobody stands in the rain except me for you guys I'm standing out in the rain so that you can see what your downspouts look like when they're just pouring water right at the foundation of the house you can see this water's not going anywhere this water is going to saturate the subsoil it's going to load the soil is what we call it. You get hydrostatic pressures. It's going to tax the home. It's only a matter of time before this costs you money. A lot more than an underground drainage system directing the water away from your home. Whether it's a garage or a house, the structures, or a commercial building for that matter, they all end up compromised. I've seen brick veneer where the finish is just flaking away. Now remember, brick veneer, moisture, you can absorb moisture in the mortar in brick veneer. It just sucks it up like a sponge. It's not waterproof, guys. When you see brick veneer on your house and you're thinking, oh, I'm fine, I got brick. It's even worse because the mortar is very porous and it just wicks water in. And then when we go below zero here in Michigan, that's when you end up with all the, the shaling the brick starts to shale, the mortar starts to crack, and I see these things. And homeowners are asking me, what, what caused this? Well, honestly, it's not raining. The sun's out, so you're not going to believe me when I tell you. But this is what it looks like during a rain event. And this is a, this is a moderate rain. This, this isn't really much at all. So just wanted to show you guys this. Keep in mind how important it is to run your downspouts underground and get this water away from your structures. All right, guys, until next time, let's all work hard to do it right the first time. We're going to keep it simple. You DIYers, stay tuned for more high octane.